Morning, folks. Built Money back with y'all again today. Hey, um, every time I talk to new people about anything about lasers, they all ask me, well, how do you do this? How do you do that? I, I would never be able to operate this stuff. I don't understand it. And trust me, like 10 weeks ago, I was the same way. A buddy of mine has been doing lasers for forever, for a few years now. And uh, he's been trying to get me to do them, and I'm like, I can't do it. I'm not that smart. It, it's no way. He's like, man, I promise you it's not as hard as what you think. So I hung out with him a little bit, and he actually let me borrow a couple of lasers for me to play with. And once I got into it and actually started doing it, I realized that it really wasn't as hard as everybody thinks. And uh, I still had to call him and ask questions, and I still call and ask questions here and there. Well, I said, about two and a half months into it, I've about figured out, I'd say about 80% of what I need to know. There's still a few odd and ends here that I'll call him about. Um, and like I said, he knows a lot more than I do. But I'm going to show you today, anyone with a laser that's compatible with light burn, I'm telling you, it's not that hard. I'm going to show you the easiest, and I do mean the easiest, file that you will ever write. It's not clip bait. It's just, it, it's that easy. So look, go right here. Click on this little square. Go right back here. You're going to find anywhere on this right here you want to get. You'll left click your mouse, drag it over, drag it as far as you want. There. You just literally wrote your first file. I know it seems stupid or whatever. We'll get a little bit deeper in a second. but that is literally as a file. Now you can go right up here and you can you leave this as a fill and everywhere that, that box is, is going to be a black mark on your, your, your material. If you want to just do a line, there you go. Uh, you can change them right here. I don't use the offset fill, just a line or the fills I'll ever use. But down here in this other corner, all these little colors and numbers, uh, other than these two on the end, T1 and T2, those are what we call tool lines. I'll explain those in a second. All this other stuff is preset things that you can set up yourself. So you go in here after a while. This is something you're going to learn yourself because every laser is a little bit different. I've got two 20-watt lasers out there in the shop. I've got a Scott Fun S30 Ultra and an Algo Laser Alpha. Both of those are 20-watt lasers, but both of those do a little bit different. So you need to do a material test and, and check those. But um, I'll show you that too. I do a material test. But anyway, what you can do is come down here and preset all these. I have mine set for red is my cut line. Uh, what I mean by cut line is if I choose red, I know that my both of my lasers, the Algo and the Scope Fund, will both cut six millimeters a second. So let's get on back here real quick. So like I said, right here you have just wrote your first file. Now go back up and click your arrow, because if not, anywhere you click here, it's going to keep making boxes, and we don't want to keep doing that. So click your arrow again, get rid of all those. Just going to delete that one and delete that one. Get those out of the way. Now this box right here, let's just say that you want this box to be, I don't know, a little bit bigger than what it is. Right now it's 121 millimeters wide by 80 millimeters high. Let's just say you want to make this box square. So let's just change this here to 121. Now when you click anywhere, now that box is 121 by 121 square. All right, so there's your first file. Now let's just say we want to actually make a, a decent file. But I did not lie to you. I did tell you to write your first file, and that is actually a file. I know it's a simple thing in the world, but let's just say that you wanted to do a dog bone. All right, what I would do is click on the circle, go over here, drop you a circle. Um, let's make that circle, let's go 53 or 54 by 54. That way it's a perfect circle. Okay, there we go. 54 by 54. I said click on your little arrow up here. That way it gets rid of your other circles. You don't need those anymore right now. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on it. It's already highlighted. I'm going to right click, go to duplicate. Reach in here and pull one of those circles out. Now, 
That's going to be the two ends or two the end of your little dog bone. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Run this back up just a little bit. Now, you can play with these things and get them all perfect. We're not going to do it there because it takes a little while, but if you want to do it better, that's fine. Once you get it about where you want it, you're going to highlight both of these. That's going to go up here. You'll click or left click, drag it over and drag it down. Just highlight those two objects. Go right over here to this little tab right here. Click on it. Now, those two have become one. So, that's going to be one end of our dog bone. What I would actually do right here is right click and duplicate that whole image and pull that other image out here out of the way for a minute. We don't need it right now. All right, go back up to your square. Go back, and this is going to be the center of your dog bone. So, if that looks good to you, like I said, you can always change it in a second. But bring that dog bone, click on it, and bring it right up here over your other one. Like I said, you can sit here and zoom in all you want. Get this thing as perfect as you want. By the way, if you roll your button on your mouse, you can zoom in and out on this thing. I love that feature. If you ever get your work area out of the way and you can't get it back right, if you'll click this little magnifying glass right here beside your plus and minus, <clears throat> that puts you right back in the, the square work area. Also, if you do not have the little rolly on your mouse, the little roll tab, you can always use this right here to zoom in and out also. So but once say, if you ever mess up, you want it back to the right place, there it is. Now, once you have these right here, you can only connect two um, objects at one time that I found. Maybe another way, but it's easy way I do it. So anyway, <clears throat> you want to take now these two objects, you're going to do your left click again, drag it over to the left side, highlight both of those, and when you click this little thing again, there it is again. You just made it. Now, it has become one image. So now we're going to bring our other image, our other end, back into here. Because now it's become one piece, so now we can connect two more pieces. There again, you want to you know, get this thing perfectly, whatever you want to do, then you can zoom in, get it all perfect, whatever. There again, click somewhere, drag it up to the left side, all the way, highlight both of them, hit your button one more time. And look at there, you just wrote a file for a dog bone. Now, if you wanted to put Fifi's name on there, very simple, go right here to your little uh, letter emblem, Fifi. Now, this right here, right now, is a cut line. I do not want it as a cut line. I want it to be a, a fill. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back up here and click my little arrow. Now, I can go down here and do my fill line. Now, it's still set as a line, and I do not want it as a line. I want it to fill. So once you click, left click back on it, go back up here now, because that one's a black one, and click your fill. Now, That'll actually will not cut all the way through unless you turn your power different settings. But you want it shaded in. Now you can do it as big or small as you want it. Stay inside the bone if you want to or outside. Whatever. But now, when you cut this little bone out in a minute, this right here is going to shade to cut the bone out. But the way we have these set up right now, your layers... There's a problem because if you have any little bow whatsoever in your material, <clears throat> when you cut this out, it's going to cut the bone out first. Now, this piece of material may drop down a little bit, which is going to mess up your focus on your laser. So to keep that from happening, go right here where it says layers and bows and all that stuff, you want to right-click your mouse on it. and It says sort cuts last. Left-click on that. Now, what your laser is going to do is going to go up here. It's going to shade this right here, Fifi. And then when it gets done, it's going to start up here. It's going to start cutting this out. So that way your material is still flat the whole time. That way your focus on your laser doesn't get messed up. What I would recommend on this right here, though, is actually left-click again, drag over all of it, drag all of it highlighted, right-click anywhere, and hit group. Now, if you go up here now and click anywhere on this, 
if you click the Fifi or if you click the light or whatever, everything is going to move together. So if you want to move this whole thing out, see Fifi gets bigger with it. If you don't do that and it's not grouped, if you try to move your bone, Fifi is going to stay. See what I just did? Luckily, if you realize you've done that, all you do is go up here to these little tabs and hit your back button and it puts it right back where it is. So then you can remember, okay, I need to go in here and highlight this. Right click, I want to group. And then now, no matter where you click, it, uh oh, hang on a second. No matter where you click, it all goes together. Also, when you move these little corners right here, you see my little arrow has got two arrows on the end right now. If you go too far, it turns that little thing. And if you turn that, it's going to catty copy your, catty wop your, your deal. So, uh, you may want that that way. So that's a quick way to do that without trying to go up into the rotation. You can actually go into the rotation and you can change that to whatever you want to and it'll rotate it for you. But if you don't know the angle that you want and not exactly sure, just, you know, go back to whatever. Do it your way. Anyway, now you just wrote your second file. Just that simple. I mean, you saw what I did. I, I hope I've explained it good enough. If not, you can go back and watch the video again. Like I said, make your little circle. Your other circle, you cross those. Remember, highlight, drag over, hit the little button right there. It's not highlighted right now because I'm not got a, two shapes. Highlight the little button, click right there. It'll connect those two. R right click on anywhere, duplicate, pull that over. Out of your way. Make your little rectangle deal. Told you, go to your square. Make your rectangle, make it whatever size you want. Drag that over just a little bit, highlight everything, hit your button down here again, that connected those two. Then, since you only got one shape, drag your second shape up here wherever you want it, this side over here, we already declared it, remember? Do it over here, <clears throat> go back over, or highlight everything again, go back over, hit your shape again, and boom, there was your dog bone. If you want to do the writing, all you got to do is click on it. You can put Fifi up here a thousand times, or you can put Rover. Let's just say that Fifi had some puppies. Had Rover uh, Jr. Spell that right. Uh, let's say Marco. Marco and um, Pris. Let's just say Pris. Now, when you get all those names put in wherever you want them, go back up, click right here. Now you can move those names around wherever you want them. Let's just say it's a little too big. You'll bring it down just a little bit. Position that where you want it. Bring Marco same way. Bring him down. Bring him down a little bit. Bring him down wherever you want him. You can do it the same deal. I just pay attention to what your um, thing is up here. If you want it fifteen or whatever, blah 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 blah. Um, that way you'll know. But Right now, we're doing just a quick, fast, dirty way. So, shrink it back down to every how big you want it. Shrink it down to every how big you want it. Now, now, you just increased your deal and you just made something to hang on your wall. Let's just say that, you know, Fifi had four puppies. That's what you name them. You want to make a little plaque for Fifi. So, now there you go. You got a bone shape that's going to cut it all out. Because remember, we're doing six. Now, that's a 20-watt laser. You can do a material test on that. And actually, I'll show you that real fast before I get off here. But do a material test on that, and you can actually uh, see what your settings are and all this good stuff. But you just made a little wall hanger for Fifi. And actually, something else I would do, like I said, you can do all this stuff a little bit more. Um, but... The cut line. What we're about to do, guys, we're about to drag that right there. Now, you'll need to, like I said, make sure it's centered. You can zoom in, all this other good stuff. There's buttons up here that you can actually use on your center stuff. But now, you're going to want to highlight both of these right here. And what are we going to do again? But, uh oh. <laughs> we don't want to do that. Hold on a second. Let's go back in here and ungroup for a second. 
So we just get these two. That's something we should have done beforehand. Now your words are not done. Now go back up. Those two are done. There you go. Now, one last little thing. You need a hole in that. We got to do a little hole for you to put your nails on or nail through, don't we? So now we can make this right here. Uh, let's say make it a circle so we want five millimeters by five millimeters click. There it is. But see, it's off center. There you go. You can just go right over here, pull it back wherever you want it. There's your nail hole. There's your second file right there. So anyway, there it is. There, there's your first file or your second file. You wrote the box while well, I go. Remember, that was your first file. It's that easy. So there's your second file. It's just that easy, too. And as you play with this, it's going to get so much easier, I promise you. Like I said, you've got your, your octagons, uh, your circles, and your squares, and then you get into all the rest of the stuff. It's going to get a little bit more complicated, but <clears throat> as you start, working things. I'll show you more videos on that. Um, I think this video is already long enough. So what I'm going to do is do another quick video on the material test. If you want to see that, watch the next video and uh, we'll show you how to do a quick material test so you can test all your cuts or your shading. Uh, it's, I'm telling you folks, it's, it's easy. Just turn to the next video if you watch this all the way through. Turn to the next one and uh, see how the material test works. That's one thing you need to do on every piece of material that you get. New piece of material, if you're going to be working with this and this, if you buy them and you're going to be engraving cutting boards or anything else, make sure you buy at least one extra of something because you need to run a test on it, see what the settings are, or else you're going to waste your time because this other one you're going to do, you're going to carve too deep or it's not cut all the way through. It's going to be this, it's going to be that. You're going to mess up something. Run this material test. I'm going to show you in the next video. Uh, see what you like better and start using that. So anyway, thank you all for joining in. Well, this video got a little bit longer. I, I do a lot of talking. I apologize. But thank you all again. Uh, please like, subscribe, and uh, hopefully I can make better videos for you all.